All right, guys, so in this video, we're gonna be talking about the Rapido Tech FVD16A. Now, as you all know, having double focus DIY anamorphic setup is very frustrating. So, a single focus rangefinder adapter is a must if you are really serious about DIY anamorphic lens setups. Now, I have used the SLR Magic Rangefinder and I have also used the Anamorphic Stores single rangefinder. And now I actually have the Rapido FVD16A, the Canon style version. And I absolutely will tell you right now that this is probably the best single focus rangefinder solution that I have used for a couple of reasons. Now, the first reason why I absolutely like this FVD16A is that it is very sharp. So sharp to the point that it looks like there is nothing in front of your taking lens and there's nothing in front of your DIY anamorphic lens. It is super sharp and I am using it right now in this video and I'm showing you some examples. Now, the second thing I like about the FVD16A is that it's really not that big compared to an SLR Magic Range Finder and compared to the other one that the European, the UK people make. It's still big, but it's not as big as the old ones that I'm used to, so the size is absolutely fantastic. If Jim, you can somehow shrink it even a little bit more somehow, go ahead and do it. But for the size, it's really that good. Now, the last thing that I absolutely love about this FED16 range finder is its price point. Uh, the SLR Magic before was $600, and then the Anamorphic Store is also $600, and then the one that the UK people make, the name of it is skipping my mind, was $1,000, the range finder that they used to, that the UK people make, that's a lot of money. But this one, the Rapido Tech FVD16A is around 550 for the Canon version. Absolutely, for the price point of what it does to your DIY anamorphic setup is fantastic. It's worth the money. Now, obviously, nothing is perfect, so we're gonna go ahead and talk about the cons of this range finder. Now, the number one con that I kinda don't like about it is it does get stiff towards the end of the minimum focus distance rotation on the ring itself, and it gets a little bit stiff on the infinity side of things, so that's kind of annoying. Maybe he can fix that in the future, or maybe it's just because my uh, my FVD 16A is just really new, so it's kind of stiff, I need to use it more. But yeah, that's the first thing I don't like about it. And the second thing that I don't like about it, but it's kind of necessary, is you do have to think about the clamps that you're gonna be using with this range finder because it's a little bit tricky, but luckily for you, Rapido Tech Gym sells pretty much everything you'll need to get this setup going. It's absolutely nice. I think he has three uh, or four options for you to be able to install a mount in front of your taking lens so you can install this single focus range finder in front of your taking lens. To recap, my anamorphic setup right now or DIY anamorphic setup right now consists of the uh, contact size 50mm 1.4, the Sencor 16C, and then the Rapido Tech FVD16A. All right, if you have any questions, let me know and I will see you later.